The broadcast is now starting. All attendees are in listen-only mode. Good morning, traders. Uh, just a sound check here. If you can just uh, type yes in the questions and also visuals, you see the uh, uh, page here that says uh, Bookmap and uh, J Trader. Okay, excellent. Okay, well, welcome to the uh, professional uh, uh, trader webinar series. Uh, we're going to go through uh, today's action with uh, J Trader. Uh, and uh, he's been trading for quite a while uh, since uh, he was uh, quite young in his teens there, late teens, as you can see. Uh, working very, very hard, uh, trading all sorts of different things, uh, <laughs> a, a lot of volume as well, uh, and, uh, uh, you know, looks at, um, was a very active trader, uh, and still is, of course, but, uh, you know, many, many uh, trades, as you can see here, 30 to 50 uh, trades per day, uh, focuses primarily on scalping level two, and uh, wishes he had bookmap back in those days. Uh, just uh, this kind of transparency is quite nice. Uh, and J Trader trades mostly um, uh, U.S. equities and options. Okay, you can see our contact info here, uh, bookmap.com, our Twitter, and our support uh, email. Uh, risk disclaimer. Uh, trading futures, equities, and digital currencies involves substantial risk of loss and is not suitable for all investors. Past performance is not necessarily indicative of future results. All right, and uh, just I'll put this into the chat every now and then so you guys have it. Uh, you probably see it already. Here, I'll uh, paste it in right now. Uh, for those of you who just came in, uh, this is if you if you want to reach out to Jay Trader, uh, here's his contact information. Okay, you have his Twitter, his YouTube page. Uh, his email here, as well as his website, uh, and um, a special uh, Bookmap link here. Uh, since J Trader is a partner here uh, with Bookmap, um, uh, th we can offer uh, uh, something special uh, through our partners. Okay, so uh, click on this link here, and uh, uh, th these are uh, offers that are not on the website from Bookmap.com. Okay, so uh, uh, you'll see their longer term, uh, three months, a year, or for lifetime. Uh, you can purchase uh, and get and get some uh, special deals here. All right, so if you want to take a look at some of those uh, as well. Uh, other than that, uh, let's um, uh, kick it off here and let me uh, hand it over to Joseph, J Trader. Good morning, everybody. So uh, glad to be here. Um, thanks, Bookmap, for the opportunity. This is our second uh, live webinar. So as Bruce mentioned, we will go over. Uh, mid big caps and small caps uh, setups over here and um, we'll talk about mostly institutional uh, trading how to spot them how we can um, use book map to uh, guide and have more conviction in our trades dance uh, then uh, we will talk about rejection trading and bounce trading so um, we'll start with today First of all, I'm going to show uh, two mid-caps uh, trades. So the first one over here this morning was PDD on a huge gap down over here. And why Bookmap is uh, helping me in spotting the, the zone, the level where I want to short. So for whoever already knows me, I like to trade based with my system over here. Uh, we'll do like this, I think will work better okay so this is not anything else than just a one minute chart we have a view app over here we have my two EMAs okay Fibonacci expansion EMAs and here we have book map on PDD so this is open 930 this morning uh, the bigger the can, the bigger the dots over here, the bigger is the soak, and the bigger is the volume. So on these gap down plays, I start always looking for a possible push into the uh, pre market resistance. So this level over here, 2780, 28, and you can see this over under the one minute 739, and at the same time. Uh, in the 28th level over here, you can spot a huge big resistance. So you see these two lines over here. These are called heat maps. So once the price, and in that moment, we have this. 
this is what you have exactly in that moment, okay? You see the price bouncing here to, towards the 28, towards the 28, and you can see 2793 stacked with 20,000, and this on the right is the cumulative volume, which is the sum of all these volumes together above the uh, bid. So this is your ask, this below is your bid, and this is like the price in that moment. So once I get there to the 28th, I know there are big sellers and I have my setup saying that this 1 minute 729 will fill below, this 2780, 2785 with the risk just above 28, so for 10, 15 cents is your entry. What it does fails all the way down. And this is what is called rejection trading or uh, short into intraday resistance. So I want to show you a trade that member in the room took today, and we had Sfix, okay? So let's put Sfix, same kind of pattern over here. So Sfix, you have to know that yesterday we had a big extension, and then we were like holding the support in the 33. So always look at the prior days, support and resistance. And right this morning, this flushed the open and where I want to look for a possible short. The first level I will be looking for is the pop again to the 1 minute 7039. And I have my resistance there, I have my two EMAs that they're like giving my possible rejection and what I'm looking also. I'm looking for a spot where the ass will get soaked, okay, so where we'll absorb a bunch of bidders and change, it's also called shift, from long to sell. Look over here, uh, 9.57, so this is Italian time, uh, sorry, American time in here, you can see the Italian time. So, once this gets to the top over here, okay, so over the 89, below the 72, we're exactly over here. And you can see one thing, we can see this pushing up, getting down, pushing down on the support, and over here, exactly into this level, you see a huge resistance gain. In that moment, here starts to stack this 33, so exactly over here, and that gives you the confirmation for your short. So you can play basically this rejection in the 3280, risking this 33, and then you will trail accordingly to the tape, to your system, and look for these pre-market lows over here. So this is how it helps you spotting the low risk entry, okay? Don't enter uh, front side, wait for the back side rejection with a uh, pretty big resistance overhead. So this is how to play rejection, uh, resistant plays into uh, mid and big caps over here. So let's look, uh, small caps this morning, guys. PAVM. Uh, Jay Trader, I, I have uh, one uh, a question here on the uh, EMAs. Uh, sure. What were the uh, EMAs that you're looking at there? So I look at uh, 72 EMA and 89 because they are expansion Fibonacci EMAs. This is part of the system that uh, I share with the members in the room, and also there are like a lot of free videos on my YouTube page. Okay, great, thank you. And this example is a, a short of a guy in the room uh, using that 1 minute 739, using that book map for confirmation and looking for more downside over here. Okay, let's move to PAVM. So PAVM this morning had a fluff news um, 
pretty beaten down stock on the daily. Um, I had a pretty high conviction here that this was going to push down. So early, around uh, 7, 7.30, um, a friend in the room started saying, institutional are pushing down this stock. Because what happens over here? This is PAVM that moved from 140 uh, high of pre-market to 106. So over here, uh, this is still pre-market around 7.15, 7.30. You can see these big uh, orange lines. And first we have uh, some institutional here at 140, then 135 then putting more size on 132 and you see how he's bringing down the stock and it's basically here on the left on the chart this zone over here so if you then make your digging into the filings look also the news you can start looking what this chart what this stock uh, wants to do this is the same setup we saw on uh, Zine, on CODX on um, uh, Givo, so pop and fades. I was looking at open this 130, and over here, let me zoom it for you. Okay, this was the open. Okay, so price came down 124 and then pushed into 130 over here, and you can see on the S some big 128, 129, 130 stuffed. Also pre-market resistance over here. The risk was basically this 140, so the high of the day. And from here, when I start like putting 129, I said to the members of the room, take this short because this will be a very good uh, all day fader. And from here, from that 130, we started seeing first institutional here, then putting huge size over here you can see the 124 125 how they are stacked and then starting to push down here in the 118 116 and support into the 105 so this is how institutional push down your stock and help you determine the entry so you can see now, just to to share some uh, some trades of the members, but it was the same plan I explained over here, and this uh, big heat map over here, uh, this was what gave me the confirmation to short, plus my setup over here that uh, we spoke about. So this 130, the soak, adding, going for the target was looking the target from uh, the pre-market here 105 110 so this is how you play an all-day fade using book map on institutional pushing down I want to show you also today uh, T E U M so this is a former runner stock guys it's a low float this loves to be manipulated uh, this morning uh, we had a push out of the gate and you can see over here with the book map here 830 push out of the gate when this started to become uh, tradable for me I was looking to short this more than too long but I want to short with a low risk I started seeing this over under five if you trade also short you must know that uh, this is a pattern that you see often a breakout of five of the whole dollar number in this case five and then on high volume a breakdown so giving like over under and it's basically on book map this over here over five below five and then basically started doing a stuff move into the 495 here here and when the price got over here the third time, so one, two, and three, I said this 490 is the place where I'm looking to short, risking or 495, so this big resistance heat map, 
or this five. So you can see that this is just a intraday rejection trading. And from there, move to the VWAP and to the first target, my 7289 EMA. And this is a setup that you will uh, see often. It often occurs in extension after the gate, uh, stuff and soak it over here. And look how many times this gets soaked and rejected from the 70, sorry, from the heat map over here. Another thing you have to look for. Okay, let's look at like this. So the price in this moment is 490, okay? And above, uh, let's calculate uh, 10 cents. So 490 till 5, this is all your ask. You have a cumulative volume of one, 116,000 shares on the uh, on selling. For the 10 cents below, you have 15,000. Okay, so it's like uh, nine, ten times more. Okay, uh, of uh, your uh, selling. So selling here prevails against uh, who wants to buy, and this is called imbalance. Okay, because you will see a lot of more um, traders want to sell this instead to buy, and therefore this unloading bids get scared and everybody runs away and you have this flush. So the last one today, GLBS. Okay. So this is uh, an intraday move that often you can find. GLBS this, uh, these days uh, pretty manipulated. And today was pretty illiquid here to trade low volatility and low liquidity. So basically move from this 660, 670 area down to the 610, 620. What I want to show you over here is uh, how a bounce support, okay, so a bounce from support does not work. In this case, you have a big heat map over here, okay? So you may think that this area is the area where you want to buy on the support, looking for this to push up. But the fact is that this support is not stacked of buyers. You can see over here that you have 1,000, 5,000, 100. There's not like 20, 25,000 shares here that if you long, they give you the possibility to get out with a, a little loss or scratch. Right away, this is like uh, broke and we have a flush. So always look the size of your bid. If this bid can hold your long, can protect you. So other examples right now. First of all, I'm gonna Okay, so let's look at DCIX. This happened on the 5th of um, March. Sorry, DSS, DSS. Okay, so this is an extension out of the gate. Uh, morning gap, everybody shorts below VWAP, shorts here at open, is trapped, and then when reclaims my two EMAs on the one, we have this big push out of the gate. And if you're looking to, uh, to short this, there's only one possible scenario here that you're looking uh, to short. So... Over here, price gets to this level to whole dollar number. And you can see a first push with rejection over here. Under, you can see a pretty big volume. Let's do like this. And then you see a second push into this zone. And you can see over here the second push. And then you can see again a third push. So the same thing you saw on TEUM 
today. So three times rejection of that area. With here a big, let me see if I can uh, show you the all. Okay, I think like this is better. Three times getting into this big heat map over here. You see the amount of resistance that we have at 199 and 2. So that too tells me that a uh, bunch of sellers are stacked over there. And when this starts to fall over here in the 195, 190s, this is your short with a possible stop just above this two. So uh, very small risk. I always look for the first target in my two EMAs over here, giving you four times or three times the return compared to what you risk. So you have three to four R's over here. And that is a soak play. So this big round uh, dot here is a soak into the resistance of the day. Same pattern over here. On, uh, I'm sorry, J Trader. If you could uh, go back to that one, and um, uh, maybe uh, there's some tools in GoToWebinar. I wasn't sure exactly where you're pointing to, um, and the soak. I believe it's the uh, uh, one one thirty five or one fifty five level or something. Is that right? Uh, the soak here into the two dollar uh, one ninety eight uh, two dollar area over here. So over here. We can uh, do like, oh, okay, okay, up at the top there. Exactly. Understood. This is the, the soak. Okay. Let me see if I can uh, have a guide over here. Yep, I see you guys' questions and comments on, on the uh, difficult to see here. So. Okay, I may have found this. It may only work on images, these images, not in the live market, but uh, we'll, we'll see. Okay, like this maybe is better, right? Or let me see. Like this, guys, I think you can see better. Mm, I don't see what you're pointing to. Mm. Uh, with this. Ah, no. there you go. Yeah, now I see it. You should see this, right? Yes. Okay, so Excellent. we use Excellent. this. Okay, so another example over here. Oh, well, that remains under, let me see. Okay, so this is uh, DSS. So this is JMU, sorry. Let's do like this. JMU. Always on the fifth of March. So this is the fourth. All right. So over here, you can see, guys. Let's do it for one second, like this. Over here, guys, you can see a second day. So first day, big move over here. So you can see price get extended. And second day, we have a push and then fail. So when I look at a second day, I have my uh, system where I look basically for a push into the uh, 1 minute 72.39 over, under, and fail. So this zone over here. Uh, Bruce, you're seeing this, right? Uh, um, no, I don't. Uh, I'm sorry. I, I was answering a question. Uh, it, if you could uh, circle again, maybe. Okay, this one here. Ah, yes, so I, I see it. I see it. Yeah, on the candlestick chart. Yes. I'm looking for a push above and under this 7289. So this gives me the confirmation of a trade. And what uh, I'm looking on book map over here. So this zone over here, basically uh, rejection of this huge heat map over here, uh, 30,000 uh, shares at three, that 297 here, 295, they gave me the entry uh, signal 
to short this on a rejection. So using my setup plus bookmap gives me confirmation for then all the possible fade and all the possible fade over here. So let's look more, guys. So this is MCRB. Okay. So MCRB was a, a pump move in the prior days. This was on the 11th of March. So let's put, okay. So morning, price front side over here, gets a top into the 840. And still, if we see our book map, we have institutional here, holding the price and pushing, institutional here, holding price and pushing, and institutional here, holding price and pushing. But still, I don't have the setup for going short. When I see over here, we have basically this kind of push into the resistance rejection over here, and then starts fading. And look what you have basically over here. You have the first resistance here in the A20, so exactly into this area, okay? The first resistance here that tells me that a huge amount of sellers are placed over here. So basically an institutional selling over here. And what is your entry? All these pops that you will see over here, risking this zone is your short. And first target over here, the one minute 72.89. Okay, so this is a push into the resistance. Heat map gives you here confirmation and this all the way down. Let's look. Bound support now, AXGT. Uh, I'm sorry, J Trader. On the, if, if we can go back to that, maybe that previous image for a moment. Uh, there's a question sure. here on uh, your target on that. Okay. Uh, let's put again the stock over here. Okay, whenever I see a pump, uh, let's put this so you can see better. So whenever I see a pump like uh, MCRB and I'm trading this rejection of the highs plus uh, book map over here, my first target is not the VWAP, but my two EMAs 7029 on the one minute chart. And you will see the majority of these pumps that uh, we have from chat rooms, they tend to get the first signal over here. Then sometimes you'll see this push back up or back down. As I said, I put a lot of uh, free video content in uh, my YouTube room explaining this pattern over here. Can I move uh, forward, Bruce? Yeah, perfect. Thank you. So let's look AXGT. This is uh, the reverse pattern over here. So AXGT, we are talking about the 11th of March. So you can see this last two weeks, these last two weeks, how many uh, uh, stocks, small caps we had. So uh, let me put it a little bit bigger over here. Okay. So first of all, guys, price opens. We have a dip over here into the 190. And you can see this 190 over here is the bottom here of this wick 
of this uh, first one minute bar. What happens over here on the uh, book map? So you're looking at the tape, so times in sales and level two, and you start seeing that into the 190, you can see down here on the bottom right, we have a huge amount of bidders, okay? So we have 518,000 here on the, on the bid. And what happens? All the small retailers, when they see this, who is short starts covering. Who is looking for long jumps in here, 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 just in front of this big support that is still not tested to get a fill and then possibly look for all this long. So in this case, uh, Bookmat gives you an anticipation, a possible inversion of the trend to push all this up. And this is a long from 195, 196, all the way up till the 240s over here. And again, when the price gets to this high, you can see here on uh, the candlestick chart, this 240, we are into the prior pre-market resistance, 240, 250. Look what's on the heat map over here. Two big resistance stacked over here in the 245 and 250, giving you the possibility to start scaling in, looking for a wash. And if you look at the wash, where's the first target? One minute, 7029 over here. Perfect, perfect, perfect dip. Second time over here, again, on the candlestick chart, on this stuff, a fake out of this 245. Again, first target, one minute, 729. Okay, so this is um, a very good bounce of the support using Bookmap for confirmation and short into the resistance, risking pre-market highs. On the same day, I want to show you let me put okay this one over here so how to see many people ask me how to see a soak how to see uh, a stuff Okay, we're going to cover this right away. So over here you see the price on the candlestick chart breaking the prior resistance here, prior push in the 245s, sorry, 240s over here. And over here, exactly on a book map, you can see a fake breakout of the 240, a big soak into this zone, which is the high volume resistance area. Okay, you can see this even using a, uh, a normal level two that this 246, 245 was that. But what Bookmap is better into this, and it gives you all these other levels above to see where. Uh, we have stacks. So we have stack not only the 245, 246, we have 249, 250, 255, giving us a huge amount of sellers into this high resistance. And what about shorting into the prior pre-market resistance level with a small stop because basically you're risking 5, 10 cents, again, going for a wash into the 220, $2 area. And this was uh, AXGT, guys. So questions on this, Bruce? Uh, no, not at the moment. Okay, so I will move uh, forward with the examples over here. TNXP, let's talk about institutional trading. TNXP, uh, this stock of the uh, 11th, 
oh sorry no of the 8th of uh, March let me see should be the 8th yeah the 11th of March okay so TNSP second day play first day guys we had this big um, extension into the 420 fail and then pre-market again push into the 420 area let me uh, enlarge a little bit of screenshot over here okay so remember this 420 over here is the high of the prior day opens over here I'm on the candlestick chart price opens gets an extension into the 410 415 area over here so we know two things the 414 is the high of that day and the 420 is the high of the prior day in this chart we traded short in room from 4 and 390 when this starts to come back down this is a fail like we saw before of the whole dollar number. So giving a short at five, at four and adding in the money at 390. On that moment, in that moment over here on book map, I was looking. The big heat map uh, putting a resistance here in the 48410. Pushing it down over here where you see number two. So giving a huge amount of selling over here and you can see how big this seller at four was then pushed down to 380 again another big institutional play pushing down the stock and this 380 number three here is this one over here and you can see how big this flush is and where will be my target over here on the candlestick chart uh, the first two EMAs, 7289 on the one minute chart. And you can see over here, again, number four, another big resistance, and number five. So five times over here in this direction, institutional brings down the stock. And this year, I have to be very precise, ready at open to see the soak and stuff over here in the 420 area. Okay, so here it open and you have to be able to spot through the tape and through book map on your side right away how the institutional wants to top it and push it down that's why I was looking for this four whole dollar number over here to fail so fail push as I usually call in the room uh, guided member live here to short at four and 390 risking this four tens looking for 350 so having 5r of return on this trade let's look more about uh, TNXP okay so here I put Okay, here is just the same uh, entry, the same pattern, but with a zoom. So when it opens over here into the uh, 390, 391, we have this push, okay? And here pushes right away out of the gate into the 410, and then a secondary push again into the 410, 411 and you can see this zone over here okay look on the right of your chart you have basically 190,000 of uh, big sellers over here stacked on the ask and you have basically nothing here on the bid so you can see 
uh, the, from 380 where you have 20,000, so almost no bidders over here. Nobody that wants to buy this stock. Plenty of bag holders that want to uh, get out from the stock, pushing it down more with the institution that we spoke before. Another thing of this chart, Okay. So if you look here on uh, book map, you see these numbers. 1,004 over here, 10,000, 1,000 over here, and so on, 19, 11. So these are called iceberg orders. So these are the orders that are not present on the book and pass directly to the market. So you can see what over here somebody uh, had an iceberg order for 1,004, but mostly here they probably covered 10,000. This is not a buy. Covered 10,000. Reshorted 10,000. Reshorted. 12,000 and cover almost 20,000. So this gives you a possible idea of when some big uh, seller, okay, is jumping in. In this case, jumped in short, covered, we jumped in short, out over here, and maybe out using the book. So this is how to look for uh, iceberg orders. There's uh, some pretty good videos uh, book map made into the uh, YouTube uh, video section. I want to look the the last thing over here. So we'll go over one of the best stocks. Let's see. Okay. So I prepared this for you guys. This was FTNW, FTNW exactly on the 26th of February. Okay. All right. So huge gap over here from one pre-market high, 380, uh, 385. And then what happens with the open? Push all the way up till 440 over here. Uh, sorry, here. Okay, let's start from this. Okay, found it now. Talking about the first rejection. So, price start pushing over here, and you can see the candlestick into the VWAP area over here, 330. And you can see how the price is getting tight over here. So you can see this box, this gray box here on the left, 320, 330. And you know that basically on these big gaps, you're looking for the rejection or I look for the rejection of the 1 minute 39 or of the rejection of the VWAP over here. But how to be sure or at least to have better odds that this will fade? Well, first of all, if you look, this is a descending triangle distribution pattern. And then you look over here on book map on the right, and you can see how many times, one over here, two over here, three over here, three lower highs, uh, making a stuff move into the 330, so into that VWAP over there, and basically pushing down each time, giving you 
this 325 area, so exactly over here, a possibility to enter short with a risk just above the VWAP, this 330, 340, um, 340 resistance. And you can see in a first moment how institutional try to push the stock. So you can see here the first institutional hold, second one over here, third one over here. And this starts instead to get lower, you see, getting lower, getting lower, and getting lower. So here you have your front side, here you have back side while at the same moment you have also lower highs into the heat map resistance first heat map over here second one over here third and wind air and pushing it down now let's look at the second chart on ftnw over here Okay. So this is what we saw before. The first, second, third lower high. And you can see how each lower high over here has uh, also uh, less buyers. Look at the volume over here into the candlestick chart. You can see the bars under the volume that are uh, diminishing over here, okay? You can see they're decreasing, giving you like um, the confirmation that we have no more bids involved into this action, no more bids to push this to the upside. And when it start cracking over here, right away you have a first crack here on a heat map and then crack the support in a big wash target to GMA on the one. Okay, guys, so this is how to look for intraday rejections. Use heat map to give a confirmation of your uh, trade. So any questions, Bruce? Yeah, a bunch of questions. I've been busy typing away here. Um, but first off, um, JTrader, this is fantastic. Uh, really uh, very clear, very straightforward. Very simple and effective strategy uh, you're using here. Uh, looking at your higher time frame, knowing exactly what you're looking for, uh, and then looking to the book, uh, getting the insight on uh, on the order flow, the order book imbalances, the volume and the context there, uh, and then just looking uh, uh, for the follow through. Uh, and um, uh, beautiful, uh, very clear uh, charts here uh, in Bookmap. Uh, yeah, thank you. You're welcome, Bruce. You're welcome. So let me uh, let me get to. I'll start from the top here uh, and uh, work my way down. I've been. If I skip your questions, guys, uh, please put it back in. I, um, I'm going to try to uh, find the ones that will say we will. I'll ask uh, in a minute here. Okay, we went through the EMAs. Uh, let's see here. Uh, yeah, so a, a few questions actually uh, uh, on how do you uh, choose your stocks or, you know, your filtering uh, in the morning? Okay, I basically uh, have different type of setups. So according to the setups I have in my uh, background, I choose the stocks. So I look for a big or mid caps gap down or gap up. Example, like today we had Roku gap up, uh, sorry, gap down. We had PDD gap down. Uh, or we had BA these days, you know, with these bad news. Then I look for scanners for uh, big gap up uh, plays, mostly in the small caps. So I look for gap and crap or gap, uh, short trap, and uh, reclaim of the VWAP and push all to the upside with extensions. So generally this. And then I look for, I run another scan uh, mid afternoon around 1:30 2 p.m. to look at uh, the stocks um, most gainers of the day. So I'm looking for a possible continuation to the upside into the second day for longs. Okay, 
Um, okay, so uh, that answers those questions uh, for you guys. There's a few on that one. Uh, and then uh, let's see here. Um, Bruce, sorry if I interrupt you one second. This only to show you how in the room they're uh, using the system and then uh, looking at also book map to give confirmation of their trades. So uh, this is how like uh, we work. Okay, and uh, yeah, if you guys are interested in that, then uh, I've put into the chat here several times uh, com uh, contact information and uh, his website, uh, uh, his email, etc. cetera. Uh, so if you're interested uh, in, in, in more information there, uh, you can click on those links. Uh, let's see here. Um, so do you have a level two for uh, JMU uh, and uh, looking for um, uh, the 0K hidden orders or showing or something like this here? Not really quite sure what you mean there, Nick, but uh, you're, you're looking for the, uh, the iceberg orders, I guess, uh, in um, uh, JMU. Uh, obviously, those are not going to show in your level two. Uh, you know, they, they don't show. That's the whole thing about, uh, um, uh, you know, hidden orders. Exactly. So maybe I can answer what I use uh, besides book map. Well, more than level two, I look at the tape. So in this case, the time is in sales. You have even a time is in sales with book map. And I need to see what's passing, you know. And uh, that gives me the confirmation. If a resistance is holding, how many um, ask uh, sellers are chipped on that resistance. If we have refilling of that ask, and if that hacks is holding and is going to push back down and reject the, the stock. Okay, excellent. Uh, question on uh, which time frames do you prefer? Um, good question. According to the setups, if I look for mid big caps, I tend to look at the uh, one, uh, but mostly three minute chart for my patterns. If I look at small caps, I tend to look mostly at the one and five minute chart for the first day trades, like let's say uh, PAVM today. Or if I look at second day or third day trades, like BPTH, uh, GLBS, then I look at the three minute chart just because I have different patterns for each uh, setup. Okay, and uh, let's see here. Okay, a few more questions coming in as well. Just Also, I may add one thing, uh, uh, sorry Bruce. Uh, I always look at a chart at least uh, besides a daily uh, on a five minute chart for at least the 10 to 15 uh, prior days. So I want to see basically the prior uh, resistance and support in those 15 prior days and how the volume was. Example, if you take BPTAs these last weeks, you can see when it has big high volume, when it has low volume, when it has dead cat bounce possibility, or when it's going to fade. Okay. Um, and uh, let's see here. You're asking ask a few questions about which broker do you use, and it looks like uh, Thinkorswim uh, was the answer on that. Uh, no, I use Tinkerswim mainly for uh, charting software. Uh, I am now also um, working with um, uh, Trader Equity Prop Firm. Uh, very good borrows, uh, cheap borrows, and you pay them only if you use them. Very reliable uh, prop firm. Um, also, some other good brokers around, uh, but I find this uh, quite reliable, and uh, I would suggest you to go for it. Okay, uh, excellent. Uh, and uh, let's see here. Uh, Kyle, your question here is about uh, some of the data packages um, using Bookmap. Uh, I can answer that for you. Um, and I'll get to that in just a minute here. And uh, let's see here. Uh, would this also work for swing trades? And, or do you take swing trades or, you know, higher time frame uh, trades? I like to take uh, swing trades uh, mainly uh, for um, uh, options. So when I like to uh, short, uh, example, Netflix for a couple of days, 
uh, I look options swing, or if I short uh, small caps, I generally look for also them for sure, like a big all day fader can be Jivo two or three days. I have my daily targets on the, uh, on the, on the stock plan, then I go for it uh, with a swing. But I generally take off at least two thirds of my trade the same day I start, and then I swing only one fourth to one third to one fourth of the remaining uh, sides. Okay. All right. Excellent. Uh, okay, Kyle, your question on uh, different bookmap versions here. Uh, yeah, the bookmap global plus. Uh, what that includes uh, is um, our proprietary indicator package, like the iceberg detector uh, that uh, uh, Joseph was showing here, uh, as as well as a, a bunch of other things, as well as trading from the from the bookmap chart. Um, and uh, but uh, the heat map, the volume, uh, everything else that you're seeing here uh, is uh, part of the global version. Okay, so uh, it's up to you if you want that uh, indicator package or not. Uh, and um, uh, and then uh, if you if you are interested in that, then I, I would recommend uh, uh, looking in the chat there and clicking on that link because uh, you know through Joseph as a partner he can offer you that that special. Uh, uh, special deals there and you'll get a discount on the the uh, global plus so you can check it out basically for free okay uh, yeah the global plus is the one that has the iceberg that's one one of the add-ons um, there's some order book and balances uh, a co correlation tracker which is really nice for the ec equities as well uh, and then the um, uh, another one which is the large lot tracker which is really helpful um, in the order book it shows you larger players holding you know, the majority of that liquidity. And as Joseph is going over these examples here in the stocks, uh, you can see how clean these look. Um, the larger players really stick out like sore thumbs here. Uh, it's just the, the markets are a little thinner uh, compared to like the futures. And therefore, I mean, you see 20,000 shares like this and they just show up so, you know, uh, uh, vibrantly here. Um, it's, a, it's a nice advantage looking at the equities uh, in Bookmap, I, I think. Uh, that's my opinion. I would suggest to go for the full version because uh, those features that maybe you know you will pay a little bit more for the full version, uh, you will uh, get yourself uh, paid back from uh, from how they help you with the market. Okay, uh, excellent. Uh, let's see what time of the day you trade this way. Yeah. So well. It looks like it's the open. Uh, you're mostly looking at these, and most of these examples have been in the open. Is that correct, Joseph? Or yes. Okay. I start 7 a.m. in the morning, pre-market. Room starts early, uh, digging into the news filings, and um, I like to start sometimes pre-market if I have a big uh, forecast as an all-day fader, or for a possible uh, extension of the open. And I trade the majority of the size in the first 60 to 90 minutes out of the gate. Then almost nothing midday. And if I have uh, any kind of pattern for an all-day fader or a possible uh, long consolidation breakout into the afternoon, uh, I may look to long or to short after 1.30, 2 p.m. Okay. Uh, any more questions? We've been going about an hour now. Uh, and uh, last minute questions here, we'll give you just a minute. Uh, and uh, else, uh, again, I mean, really clear uh, stuff, Joseph, um, fantastic. So I can't wait to- Thank you uh, very much, Bruce. And also always great to be here with you. Yeah, I, I can't wait to post this uh, uh, for recording. Uh, so we'll, we'll post it later today. Um, oh, uh, one more question. Nick has been asking uh, three times now. Um, if if you maybe can show in the live market uh, Netflix and he's he's looking at um, uh, 9:54 a.m. Uh, Eastern time. Okay, I had Netflix uh, every day with me. Uh, one of my best stocks. This I uh, I got it from uh, uh, working with uh, Smash the Bid. Smash, very good trader. So what time he was looking for? Uh, 1054 Eastern time. Okay, 1054. Let's look over here. 1054. I'm, I'm sorry, I'm sorry, 954. Sorry about that. Okay, 954. So over here. Okay, so let's put Netflix. Somebody was playing 
this rejection of resistance, I suppose, 366. Let's see, 954. Okay. So here we have, let me put also this. Okay, so we can see better. So 954, we have this resistance here. Uh, let me see, is this the right stock? No, I'm, I'm messing up something. Not the correct day, just one second. Okay. So 954, push out of the gate into pre-market resistance. And this was the first resistance that we broke. And the second one, 357, so this resistance that rejected on lower highs. So what was the question, uh, Bruce? Um, yeah, I, I don't know. <laughs> It was maybe, just, just to look at it at that time. Okay, just to look at it. Okay, okay, I understand. I understand. Uh, oh, I'm wondering if uh, if there was uh, any hidden orders up there. I guess. Um, oh, let me see. I don't see any kind of big. You can. I have my um, heat map over here. Uh, sorry, uh, iceberg um, set for uh, big caps, and then one set because you can change the parameters, even the dots, for the small caps. You may want to play with uh, the, the setups to see what works better for you. Okay. Um, yeah, I don't see any uh, up there um, at, at the moment, uh, Nick. So um, uh, there you go. But uh, yeah, you can see it just came short of that uh, uh, high liquidity up there. Uh, and just, it basically exhausted out there. Uh, exactly. And, uh, and fell back down uh, below his, his, his first X there. And you can see that's where the sellers really picked it up and, and drove it lower. Um, but uh, um, the uh, uh, just another request, if we could take a look at maybe the live market for, for Netflix. Uh, and, sure. then, uh, and then I think we'll wrap it up here. Okay, uh, guys, in the, in the meantime, uh, I've, I've put this into the chat. Oh God, I don't know, maybe uh, uh, 10 times now uh, <laughs> for those of coming in late. Uh, if you want to uh, uh, contact JTrader, you have his contact information there. Okay, this is what's happening uh, in the last one hour here, one hour and, uh, and a half. Basically, you can see one thing, guys, and this really helps a lot. So when you have a one-minute chart on three-minute chart, sometimes you cannot see each dip. And you can see one thing over here. Each time is a higher low over here. Each time is a higher low. So this is a trend up that tells you not to short yet because this is front size still. Okay. All right. Excellent. Um, uh, I think that that wraps it up. Um, thank you very much, Jay Trader. It was an excellent uh, presentation. Thank you very much, Bruce, and uh, thank you very much, Bookmap. Yeah, we'll we'll do it again. Uh, and um, uh, thanks, guys, for coming. Uh, look for this on YouTube uh, on the front page there under uh, uh, Pro Trader Webinar Series. Uh, probably in about another hour or so, uh, we'll have it up there. Okay, uh, everyone, have a good day. Thanks again, Jay Trader. Excellent presentation. Thank you, Bookmap, and thank you, Bruce. Have a good day too, brother. Okay. All right. Take care. Bye bye. Bye bye.